video, we'll be talking about measurement systems analysis and more specifically, gauge repeatability and reproducibility. When we look at continuous improvement efforts such as Lean and Six Sigma, we're making decisions about how we improve our processes based on our measurement systems or our gauges. And just as our products and services and our processes have variation, our measurement systems have variation as well. It's important to then to understand the integrity of our gauges because we are making critical decisions about our process improvement efforts. Measurement systems analysis is a way to evaluate the entire process or the entire system and look at the integrity of our data that we're using for our analysis. We can use that information then to understand the implications of our measurement error for decisions that we're making about our product or our process. And so when we use measurement systems analysis, we're considering the correct measurement system and the approach, we're assessing our measurement device, and we're also assessing the procedures and the operators, and if there's any measurement interactions as well, those are taken into consideration. So within measurement systems analysis, one of the key methodologies is gauge repeatability and reproducibility. And gauge r, &R measures the amount of variability that's induced into our measurement systems that comes from our measurement system itself, and we're using that information to compare it to the total variability. And that way we can observe the variability that comes from our measurement system. Ideally what we want is we want to be able to see the variability from our process or our products and we should not have much variability that's being induced from our measurement system. And so we, as part of this, we're trying to understand what is that variability in the way that we measure our product and our performance. And so the purpose of a gauge repeatability and reproducibility study is to assess how much variation is associated with the measurement system, and then we're comparing it to the total process variation. There are three key factors or properties when we talk about gauge repeatability and reproducibility. And one way to think about each of these three is using a dartboard. The first one is accuracy. And accuracy is the ability to produce an average measured value that agrees with the true or standard value that's being used. So if we think about throwing a dart at a dartboard, this is hitting the bullseye. When we talk about precision, the second property this is the ability to repeatedly, repeatedly measure the same product or service and obtain the same results. And so we may not be hitting the bullseye, but whenever we're throwing that dart, we're getting a tight cluster around the same area. And then the third property is stability. And that's the ability to repeatedly measure the same product or service over time and obtain the same average value over time. So it's taking in that time factor. Now when we talk about gauge repeatability and reproducibility, those two factors, those two aspects, repeatability and reproducibility, is how we set up our gauge r, r When we talk about repeatability, that's a variation obtained from the same person using the same instrument on the same product for repeated measurements. It's also known as equipment variation. And so as we set up our gauge r, &R we're typically gonna set this up with multiple operators, typically three operators, and we're pulling in multiple parts over the range of the specification limits. And we also want to make, make sure that we're taking into account parts outside of the specification limits. Each operator is being compared to how they're using the gauge over and over again with those repeated measurements. And so I, t I typically think of this as I can measure a part and I can repeat the same results. The second aspect is reproducibility. And that's the variation that's obtained due to differences in people that are taking the measurements. And that's our appraiser variation. And so that would be myself using the gauge and someone else being able to re reproduce the same results. And so those are the two key aspects when we set up our gauge R&R. &R.